I'm a bit late to this party, aren't I? It seems the Gotchaverse has been revealing itself to a lot of people recently, including me. With several people making videos on it, and several people requesting I talk about it. Much like country humans, this is a subculture with equally sexual and homosexual themes. Gotcha Life is, as far as I can tell, what would happen if you had Go Animate, but with more weebs and less Caillou. However, comparing it to Go Animate would be unfair, since that program has at least some animation, while this one works more like a storyboard from what I've seen. I was surprised to find that the video game publisher that made these Gotchaverse things was made by an actual person, and not spawned out of thin air like some kind of SCP. If you ever wanted to get a good idea of what you're dealing with when it comes to Gotcha Life in a short amount of time, then all you would have to do is watch this. On the surface, these videos are simply kids making stories with a simple dress-up app, which is perfectly fine on its own. But there's just something oddly amusing about these videos and the community surrounding it. And like anything on the internet, things begin to get soiled when more adult-oriented subject matter is thrown in. At this stage, these videos give off the same disturbing aura as those Johnny Johnny videos. These videos are gems, and I genuinely mean that. They are rife with spelling and grammatical errors, absurd situations, and all the stuff you would expect from a community built by youngins. Which I would argue makes them far more entertaining than a proper gotcha video would ever be. And as a consequence of the internet, these videos can get millions upon millions of views. Now, I think it's safe to say that making videos in this way is probably not the hardest thing to do. But when videos can get as long as 40 minutes, I have to assume there's a fair amount of work and dedication put in, even if that work is relatively primitive. I've edited nearly 30 minute videos before. It takes some time. Which is why I believe people when they say that some of these take two months to do. Especially for this video, which probably has the most effort and editing out of any I've seen. There's also a less prominent practice of editing gotcha figures like some sort of base. There's also an amusing abundance of watermarks on these videos. This one even has two. Other tropes include being very poorly paced. Oh, hey, you're here. Sure am. What brings you here? Oh, you know, just, oh, okay. Trying to find a book on the library website, but nothing's in the spot. Oh, okay. Space Chase. It's a book series about these astronauts who, okay, and they discover the people there have a rare spice sus. Okay, so they have to try the, okay. Anyway, I have something to tell you. Oh, uh, what's that? Well, it was, it made me realize something. Uh, he's so horrible to me. He tells me all these awful things. Okay, so you made me realize I should, uh, uh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're leaving and just confusing in general. This is very big furniture for them. These drawers are like the size of her. I was just, I, okay, I was just here with him and then, and then a cat turned into some killer. Great, great. What do you mean a cat? How would a cat kill? What's with all the noise? OMG, what happened? Oh my God. Wait, you're, uh, uh, but wait, uh, Okay, is the cat? Let me kill you, ugly man. Uh, wait, how? Wait, wait. Are those paramedics? Or are this just random people? <laughs> About two years later, she found someone new that made her happy. Wait, who did? The uh oh. Wait, he's not even. He's he's just scooting his butt along the floor. Why why is he doing that? Do they not have an animation or like? Oh okay, <laughs> they're Naruto running. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> And I guess she turned back. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. There, there he is. Oh lord, he coming. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> what was that? What? Gotcha Wow Studios Anime Lunime Gotchaverse that's quite the channel name, is an example of a very consistent Gotchaverse channel, both in brand and upload schedule. I think it's safe to say that quality entertainment isn't the main goal of these videos, and it's not like I expect it to be. What I find slightly infuriating is the sheer amount of views these videos get, but unfortunately that's something I have to accept. 
Just like toy reviews, these videos have a market that they are taking advantage of. And I'm going to take advantage of it too, with my next video. Top 10 gotcha tubers who've sworn. I think it's safe to say that most of these videos are made by very young kids, and advertised to very young kids. Which is probably the most disturbing thing about it, especially when there's many, many videos that revolve around mature topics such as... Teenage pregnancy, yeah. suicide, depression, vor, bondage, incest, and much more. That's not to say I'm surprised there are videos on these things, and I don't think censorship will make it go away. But the sheer number of videos with these subjects is astonishing. In fact, the amount of videos in general is astonishing. Every single time I went to research for this video, there was always 10 brand new videos with over 100,000 views each. These people are pumping these videos out like nobody's business. But I want to make a clear distinction here between the relatively tame videos like this one, which is charming in a way. I remember when I was much younger and saw creepypasta-esque videos with equally juvenile subjects and took them extremely seriously. And the videos which have extremely disturbing subject matter. Now on the surface, most of these videos seem like gay-ass love stories with surface-level messages. That's right, kitties. Gawk and laugh. But despite what most of YouTube will lead you to believe, people such as Lego Jesus and Megatron with a body pillow, what the hell has YouTube turned into? Gotchaverse is actually much more intellectual than it may seem. I've peered behind the curtain, and I've seen the true socioeconomic meaning of these videos. First off, notice how odd the character designs of these chibi people are. Look at the abundance of eye patches, scars, and uniforms. One might even say, military uniforms. Why is there always a ratio of like four women to one man? I think it's pretty obvious why. We are dealing with the fallout of a devastating intergalactic war. We are witnessing a lost generation, mentally destroyed, and missing so many of its members. The psychological effects are clearly catastrophic. Many of them cannot engage in deep conversation, and can only have shallow interactions. That's why there's such an abundance of rape in the Gotchaverse. People cannot form meaningful relationships. Their brains have been destroyed by PTSD and the horrors of the war. Although the intergalactic war featured many legitimate species, such as demon-like creatures, much of the Gotchaverse populace plays dress-up and maintains a childlike state of mind to distract themselves from the slaughter of their people. We are witnessing the sad decay of society in front of our very eyes. And I will not sit here while people soil the good name of this vast and tragic cinematic universe. Anyway, my name is Solar Sands, and goodbye.